the top level. I'm a rebel, rise up cause I'm a top rebel. Look in my eyes, this is my time. Step up, rise up, fight first, bring it up. Welcome to Remus Talks again. I have to say, this is the most excited I've been to making one of these videos, and for very good reason. Now there's a reason that the title is what it is. A new face, new changes. And that is very true with the person that I'm going to be talking about today. Not a single person in SWF will know her in the ring. Not a single person will know her. And that's what makes talking about her today so much of a joy. I lightly touched upon her in my episode on the Black Widow. Although, she came into contact with me recently and she has a few messages of her own, but as always, it's about what I think of certain individuals in Remus Talks, though I am more than happy to pass along the messages that she's given me. To start with, we met, well, outside of wrestling and she doesn't know, but I've been keeping close tabs on her ever since she decided to join SWF. Or, maybe she does know. She's that kind of person, it's hard to predict her a lot of times. Maybe that's why I'm uh, interested in her a lot. <laughs> She's very feisty. She's very determined, very stubborn, very confident as a person. All traits that, for me, I truly admire, and traits that I think every wrestler that is going to be successful should have. The way she trains, the way she carries herself, the way she talks, the way she has a mind focused on what she wants, screams everything to me. It screams that she has got it. And in wrestling, you'll hear it's been thrown around everywhere. And what it is, it is the ability to go far in any company, no matter how big or small it is. And she's got it. <laughs> Just like I have it. Yes, I would not be surprised to see her with the Women's Championship one day. But I've not even told you her name yet. Her name is Foxy. F-O-X-I-E, Foxy. <laughs> and that truly helps to describe her nature. She's very quick on her feet. She's <laughs> a lot more animalistic than most. Very feral, very vixen-like. And very alluring, I must say, as an individual. But she's certainly tough, she's certainly resourceful. And I reckon that she knows what she wants and she knows how to get it. She trains very similar to how I do. She trains for actual combat, not just wrestling. Because you see, anybody can train to wrestle, but not everyone can train how to fight. And fighting is something that's far, far more useful than wrestling. Because that's what I do when I go into a ring. I aim to fight the other person. 
the other person isn't playing the same game that I'm playing. And that's why I've been so successful. And that's why she's going to be so successful. Oh, and if you thought I could get into people's heads, hmm, she could give me a run for my money. I can guarantee you that. Yes, definitely future SWF women champion right there. There's not really much else to say about her. Not until she steps into the ring. Not until I see more of her work. But I can tell you one thing. Just from presence alone, oh, she gets five stars all the way. And she's definitely someone to keep an eye on. And not someone to dismiss. Much like what a few of you have already done. But we'll, we'll get to that now. Catherine, this message is for you. And from the way I've already been speaking, you should know what that message is from her. She just wants you to know that you should enjoy the time that you have left with your championship. Because it's only going to be a matter of time before she gets into the ring with you and she takes that away from you. Because in her eyes, it's more deserving for someone who's actually fought, not just in wrestling, but has fought every single day of her life. Fought every single day just to stay alive and fought every single day to get to where she wants to be. And she views you as somewhat entitled, somewhat uh, spoiled, especially by Lawrence. And I can certainly see where she comes from with that. And I don't blame her for thinking that either. So, I suppose this is a bit of a good look from me. For you. Because you're going to need it at least not to get too injured by her. <laughs> oh, and she's also got another message for Crimson. Yeah. Why would she want to address Crimson? Well, truth be told, this is the first time that anybody's spoken about her, but it's not the first time that she's made a presence known within SWF. She was involved in one of our comment wars that we usually have every now and then. <laughs> and she doesn't like the fact that you decided to call her a bitch when she wasn't even taking any sides in that. You decided to call her many things that, uh, let's be honest, you've not exactly made yourself uh, good looking in her eyes. You've put, you've definitely put yourself into the bad books. And unfortunately, you do seem to come across as quite a bit hot-headed all the time. And, well, it's that that's going to ruin you, Crimson, even more so than I will. <laughs> because you don't know if she was going to ally herself with you, or if she was going to ally herself with anybody else that you knew. But you've kind of burned the bridge a little bit there. You ruined any chance that you have of being able to become friends with her. And that's unfortunate because I'll tell you one thing, she's a very good friend to have around. I can tell you that much. <laughs> and a good looking one at that. <laughs> this is going to be a short video. But, the usual, leave a like, share, and subscribe, and click up here, so you can choose which wrestler I should talk about next. Lawrence, I'm going to keep harping on at this until either you or someone else that you know responds to me. Where is my fucking championship title shot? at yours. Where is it? Because I'm wanting it. Nobody else in SWF deserves it. I do. So you better fucking get me that title shot right now. And I'm not going to wait any longer. And if I have to wait any longer, I'm going to make sure that I break every single SWF superstar that there is until I get what I want. So you better take me seriously for once, you absolute chicken of a man.
And the same message goes to Catherine from Foxy. I'll see you all in the next one. Ta-ta. <laughs>